All right, now we're doing 7Q Descending Order. This is by Tastios, and 89% of the people like it. So our task is to make a function that can take any non-negative integer as an argument and return it with its digits in descending order. So essentially, we're going to pardon me, we're going to rearrange the digits to create the highest possible number. So you see this one, it's going to be this. This one's going to be this. And this one, which is easy to see, 1 through 9, is going to be 9 through 1, basically. So we could go and we could make like a bubble sort uh, for loop and do all kinds of stuff, but we don't got time for that. Let's just straight up do concise syntax and const right here. Descending order equals in and then have the arrow right after the in and then down here let's say console.log so we can test while we go and start right here so let's start by saying in to see what in even looks like so in looks like zero let's come down here and bring it all the way down to this uh, one through nine so that we can get a real good test out of it all right test it out and you see one through nine right there, all right? And so it's a primitive number right now, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is turn it into a string so that we can separate each one of these digits. Uh, so to turn it into a primitive string, we're gonna use this string constructor when, and uh, when called is, pardon me, and when called as a function, it performs type conversion to a primitive string, all right? So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna say, we're gonna put this right here, this uh, parentheses, and we're gonna say capital S for string. All right, test it out. And now it didn't really change, but you can tell it's a string because it says string right here, all right? So now we're going to separate this and put each one of these digits in its own element in an array. So to do that, we're gonna wrap this thing up with brackets, and then we're going to use this spread syntax, which allows an iterable such as an array or string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments or elements are expected, all right? So right here, we're gonna say in front of the S, dot, dot, dot. Now let's test it out. All right, now you can see one through nine. You can also use the uh, split method if you feel like it, it's all up to you. Uh, then we're going to sort this thing and we're gonna use the sort method which sorts the elements of an array in place and returns a reference to the same array now sorted. The default sort order is ascending, built on converting the elements into strings and then comparing their sequence to UTF-16 code unit values. So we're going to have to use a function, an arrow function syntax, to get this thing to go in descending order. All right? And the uh, function, arrow function syntax is something dot sort. So it's going to be whatever we, the string, pardon me, the array we just made dot sort, and then have A and B as the arguments, and then the uh, expression right here after an arrow. So we're going to say dot sort like this. We're going to have a comma b right here and then an arrow right here. So basically uh, if this expression equals a what is it? A negative number these this thing's going to stay the same. So if this is bigger than this Excuse me, if this is smaller than this, it's going to say the same. But if this is bigger than this, they're going to switch, right? Because it's for ascending order. So all we have to do is now make it to where we say B minus A. And that way, this number will be, um, if this number is larger, it'll make a positive number here. And this one will switch with this one, all right? So let's test that out. And as you can see, that's just what it did, all right? Because like it said over here, the default is ascending order. So we had to make it descending order. And we did that. And now we're going to uh, join it all back together to make it a, uh, you know, just a concatenated thing. Is that the word concatenated? Anyway, whatever. Uh, here's the join method that we're going to use, which returns a new string by concatenating. Yeah, it is. Uh, all the elements in an array separated by commas are a specified separated string. So... Instead of the commas, we're gonna use this uh, empty string so that it butts all the numbers right up against each other. So we're gonna say dot join like this and then have an empty string right there. Let's test it out. All right, and we know it's a string because it's still in string mode. So we're gonna wrap this whole thing up in parentheses and we're gonna use the number constructor, which 
we call this a function it performs a type conversion to a primitive number all right so we're going to say right in front of this thing we'll say number like that test it out one more time and look just like that all right so let's get rid of this console.log do a for real test looks good attempt it looks good and submit it all right so you see here parse int pretty much does the same thing as number uh they did sort dot reverse instead of uh fixing it up inside the sort uh, but and they use split instead of spread syntax uh, this one they used uh the in plus the empty string instead of the string constructor they use the unary plus instead of parse int and instead of number which nobody used number uh and then this one uses the normal syntax instead of the arrow syntax but still does the b minus a right here uh and then this one i don't know what this is the 10 i don't know what that is but parsing at 10 do you have to do that anyway i don't care because we did it a different way uh you can look all this stuff up if you feel like it let's go to mine all right and so it's 88 of us plus these people best practice in my opinion very much like it and we'll see you next time.